Hello, my friends. This is Qing Hong here. Today, I want to share with you how I paint a strawberry bow. I learned this way of painting from beloved watercolor artist Jean Haynes, and this little video is also a loving tribute to Jean. First, I paint roughly、uh, the shape of the strawberry, and taking care to leave out the white. And also、uh, some area for the leaves. I will leave that out as white as well. So it's really rough and not very concerned with the shape exactly. But I am、uh, taking care more with the values, the patterns of the light and shade. So I'm painting more of the shapes of the light and shade. Rather than the exact shape of a strawberry, if that makes sense. And the pigments that I used for the strawberries are、um, a lizarin crimson together with cadmium red medium hue、uh, from Daniel Smith, and these two together really give that brilliant red. So as the pigments on my brush are getting less and less,、uh, I naturally move to the area where I want less attention,、uh, like the strawberry on the side, and、uh, the part of the strawberries that's in the bowl that's hard to see. And now I just use a、uh, basically clean brush to soften the edge of the part of a strawberry that's in the bowl, so it's not so clear. They are just not so clear to see. I'm also adding the strawberries on the background simply with the pigments that I picked up、uh, earlier from the strawberries. And、I try now to add more darkness into the strawberry while it's still wet, but it is at this time that I found myself in a pretty big problem. The paper is drying faster than I expected. What happened was、uh, I used this time、uh, is a different paper. It's actually. Back side of this arch cold press paper, and it's drying a lot faster. I feel, and also the texture is smoother、uh, than what I used before、um, for the other side of arch paper or the Sanders waterfall paper. So at this point, I kept on painting, but、uh, in my heart, I was like, "Oh my goodness, this is not going to work. Look at all the watermarks. Oh, they're just not good." But since I started, I didn't want to quit at this point, so I just went on and went on with the leaves. And、uh, because the red colors are drying and the leaves are not fusing with the red as I had hoped, so I really didn't have any confidence at this time that this is going to work out. But、uh, I continue to paint because since I've started,、uh, let's just paint. Let's just paint. And also deep down, I have a trust that I know that strawberry, or、uh, not strawberry, <laughs> watercolor, is more forgiving.、Uh, that's what I've learned about watercolors so far.、Uh, it's not that relentless. It's more forgiving. And、uh, these watermarks, they may look ugly and weird right now, but give it some time.、Uh, it may create something beautiful for me. So I just went on, and、uh, now I'm starting to paint、uh, the bowl, the glass bowl, actually by lifting. So I'm lifting the colors、uh, to create some whiteness for the edge of the bowl. And I know I can't、uh, lift it to the white white that I wanted, but it's okay. So、uh, we'll just see what happens. 
I had not really、uh, painted the glass、uh, wares a lot, really not much. So this is just an opportunity for me to learn how to paint glassware. So、um, what I'm painting now here are actually again、uh, the sh shapes or the patterns of light and shade of this glass bowl. I'm not painting the particular shape of the bowl, but I'm painting. The light and the shade. Where I see、uh, light, I just lift or leave out white.、Uh, where I see dark, I just、uh, put in some dark colors. Now I'm moving back to the strawberries. It's still not looking good, <laughs> but、uh, oh well, just keep going. So now I drop in some yellow color.、Uh, I think it's Hansa Yellow Medium from Daniel Smith, which I love. Uh, again, it's not fusing、uh, with the colors、uh, the other were drying, but、uh, hey, maybe it will have different effect. We'll see. So I just drop that in to bring some sunshine、uh, to the strawberries. You know, as this now turning out well at this point,、um, I'm actually not that worried. Also, because the way I paint,、um, I always create a space for watercolor to play on its own, to paint on its own. So I'm giving it a lot of space, much less control. Um, so I'm waiting for some magic for watercolor to happen on its own, just out of my own control. Yeah, I'm just surrendering, surrendering to the、uh, life for watercolor to happen on its own, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I just added some、uh, dark. Uh, it's、um, basically still a lizard crimson mixed with some、um, um, ultramarine blue, so that gives it the darkness, and not too purple. I used purple before; it just、uh, feel a little bit too cold. So this time, I simply mix lizard crimson with、uh, ultramarine blue, and I think now it looks、uh, more natural for the shadow part. I'm adding a final strawberry on the background to bring out the strawberry in the front. I think it's almost at this point、uh, the strawberry starts to happen. I had a peek、uh, at the camera screen, and、uh, it's much smaller image in the camera screen, but I see. Strawberries coming out, so hmm, that's wonderful. So that's the magic of watercolor is happening when I give it the space to play. So I have more confidence at this point because they are now looking like strawberries, not just some weird blobs of colors. So with that, I am just happily continuing in to paint.、Um, More of the strawberries and the bows. While I do paint loosely, still the shape not as exact as what. In my、uh, reference, well, my strawberry models, but I always take care to try to match the pattern of light and shade. That's really what I'm painting: the light and shade patterns. So I'm just going in with where I see dark and、uh, where I see light, and I also、um, taking care that. Not every strawberry having the same light and shade pattern. Even though、uh, in the reference photo you can see now,、uh, everybody actually has quite the same、uh, contrast. But、uh, in the loose painting, I only 
want one strawberry to really stand out, and for the other to fade. Because truly, in life, when we see, we only see one thing at a time. All the rest just fade out in the background. And that's what I'm painting. I'm painting that moment, the moment I see the strawberry, the moment I feel the strawberry, and only that one strawberry stands out for me as that single moment, that fleeting moment. Adding a little dark、uh, again. I think I mixed、uh, sap green with ultramarine blue to give the darkness. I'm softening the edge、uh, for the strawberry on the side because I want it to recede more, so the strawberry in the middle、uh, stands out even more. Like right now, I'm darkening the strawberry behind it, so to bring out the strawberry in the center to come forward it even more. Okay, now come to the bow.、Um, here I'm adding dark, so it's really not a lot、uh, darkness in the bow that I want to add because this is really personal experience. Maybe you feel it's really dark, then just go for it. And for me,、uh, I like to keep things light, light-hearted, and、um, so I don't add a lot dark into my paintings. And now.、Um, I am paying more attention on this watercolor that's appearing in front of me, and I'm not no longer trying to match it into the reference,、uh, my life models, even they are alive.、Uh, and now this watercolor becomes alive too, so it has its own rhythm, its own beauty that I want to pay attention to. So I just add some fine lines、uh, to. Just、uh, define the darkness a little bit. I continue to、uh, use the ultramarine blue, so the color is consistent、uh, with what I used earlier for the darkness of the strawberry. Painting the glassware is really fun. Ah,、oh, I actually enjoyed it to see all the intricate patterns of light and shade. Ah,、oh, I don't really have much to share how to paint because I'm still learning, <laughs> but it's fun.
Okay, now here comes the shadow. I actually love to paint shadow because this is another playground for me to create something not dictated by um, the reality that I see right in front of me, but I can create. And uh, even though in this reference, uh, the shadow seems to be darker, but I like to paint light shadows. It just feels so lighthearted and uh, fun that way. So uh, I actually just use really light colors, a mixture of alizarin crimson and some ultramarine blue to make it purplish color and drop in a little more of that purplish color to define the edge a little bit. So you will see that the shadow colors I put on this paper is really quite different from what I see in my reference photo, right? Or my reference models. Um, but uh, it's okay. Uh, now this watercolor on my paper because another being, another life that I want to honor it and to just put on what works for it. No longer what's really or what's in the reality. You know, we are creating a new reality at this point. And now my favorite action, uh, splatter, some little splatters. It gives us that atmosphere like fragrance in the air. And I slap splattered two colors, uh, lizarin crimson and ultramarine blue. So because these are actually the two of the main colors in my painting. So just uh, continue to grow that resonance, that coherence of this watercolor. Okay, now it's time to put on the details of this strawberry. And now I use the gouache white, it's more opaque and uh, it's more opaque than the watercolor white. And uh, first thing I want to do is actually I want to reclaim the highlight of that center uh, strawberry, strawberry in the center. That's the star of this painting. So I want to make sure it gets the highlight so it pops. And for the other strawberries, um, they're just a little bit random white here and there. And sometimes that may not even make sense, but uh, I just want to keep it um, because it doesn't have to make sense for the logical brain. Uh, I'm creating art and uh, I like people to just think, oh, what's that? And to just uh, being intrigued. Yeah, we don't have to have all the answers, but being intrigued and it's much more fun. And I also realized that in these real store uh, strawberries, uh, the seeds are not that white. Actually, I don't see a lot of white seeds. I see more of dark seeds. So uh, I just use this white sparsely here and there. Now I use a dark color, a mixture of alizarin crimson with ultramarine blue again, and a little bit of violet, so it really darkens it. And I'm going to where I want um, to defy more of that light and shade. And a lot actually of that darkness happens right next to the white. Yes, it's never the white or the light just stands alone. There has to be the darkness aside to show off that white. And here on the central strawberry, I give it a little more interest, interest by adding some dark seed. 
And for the rest of strawberries,、uh, I just put a little bit. Even though I can see every seed on every single strawberry, but again, here is an another being. It's another painting with its own life and rhythm, and、uh, I'm just tuning in with this new painting right here with me. So with just these few touches, I feel I've got enough of details onto my strawberry. And here、uh, I mix、uh, the white with a little bit yellow. So add a few more seeds, especially on the central strawberry. Continue to help that one to stand out. And now I notice that those watermarks has become such wonderful texture effect for this strawberry, just like that natural bruise on the strawberries. I can even feel that I can touch them, and the texture of that paper, this paper that I thought I used the wrong side. Remember in the beginning, it actually gives such wonderful,、um, smoother texture. Like really watery and soft, the softness of strawberry using this back side of the arch paper, it actually creates this effect that I didn't know I would have done、uh, if I used the quote unquote right side. So all、oh, this fun to explore and just keep going, even though it didn't fit what I expected to happen, and I'm learning new things. Now comes to the glass bowl. Just some final touch to add more, a little bit more darkness. So for me, painting watercolor is really never about painting details. For me personally, it's always about the light and shade pattern.、Um, even here, I'm yeah, you can say I'm adding details, but truly what I'm doing is I'm strengthening the light and shade pattern. In several critical spots, now as the paint are drying, I realize the shadow was a.、Uh, A bit too light for the painting, so I just、uh, wet it and drop in a little bit more color to bring out more of that, a little bit more of darkness in the shadows. So this wonderful bowl of strawberry have a place to sit on. Okay, I feel this is right,、um, and、uh, it's time to put down my brush. So here you are, the strawberry bow. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and have fun painting. And、uh, I guess for me, the biggest lesson learned, or the biggest joy, was I kept going, and even though each Didn't start out well, and、uh, just give watercolor the time to play on its own and try things, and magic does happen. So thank you so much for watching and happy painting.